seven types of viruses that have lain frozen in the Siberian permafrost for thousands of years have been revived. The youngest were frozen for 27,000 years, while the oldest was on ice for 48,500 years, making it the most ancient virus resuscitated so far. Huge chunks of permafrost are melting as the earth warms, unleashing bacteria frozen for decades or more. Now, so-called zombie viruses from Siberian permafrost have been brought back to life by scientists in order to investigate the emerging bacteria. One of these viruses, estimated to be close to 50,000 years old, is the oldest virus to have been frozen and come to life again. According to the research team, these resurrecting viruses could pose a serious threat to the public's health. However, more research is required to determine the risk that these infectious agents might present when they emerge from their frozen sleep. The researchers claim that permafrost, or permanently frozen ground, covers one-fourth of the northern hemisphere. The team emphasizes that permafrost is irreversibly thawing as a result of global warming, unleashing organic material that has been frozen for up to a million years. The majority of this material breaks down into carbon dioxide and methane, increasing the greenhouse effect. The 48,500-year-old amoeba virus is one of 13 viruses described in a new study, and nine of them are considered tens of thousands of years old. The research team found each virus unique from other common viruses because of its genome. The ancient virus was discovered beneath a lake, and other extraction sites contain Siberian wolf intestines, mammoth wool, and other permafrost-buried materials. The team demonstrated that the viruses still had the potential to be contagious pathogens using live single-cell amoeba cultures. According to scientists, the situation would be far more terrible if an old, unidentified virus were to resurface and cause diseases in plants, animals, or people. The bad news is that, the research team believes there are still many viruses to discover in permafrost, 